Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel, straight from the spirit chair. And welcome if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by or maybe somebody referred you. I really appreciate you taking the time. My name is Elizabeth. As I said, I'm a psychic medium. I'm a divine channeler. I'm a spirit extractor specialist. And I also happen to be a divine twin flame on the path to reunion. Thank you so much, all of you who have subscribed to the channel, to the Paranormal Priestess family. I love you all. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate your connection. And I really appreciate those who have become clients, who I've done readings for, clearings for. It's been amazing. What a journey. And uh, it's only getting more exciting. Um, I just wanted to make a quick announcement again, especially if you are new to the channel. Um, Bear with me. I am going to be moving very soon. I have a lot of stuff that I'm still packing, some of it's behind me. Um, as a spiritual person, I, I've collected over the years, and so there's a lot of things you would imagine that I'm moving. And um, so uh, thank you for giving me the time. For those of you who have actually emailed me for a reading, thank you for your patience. Uh, I know it's taking a little bit of time getting back to you to schedule or getting back to your inquiry. Um, just bear with me. I will be getting back to those emails as soon as I can. Uh, just so you know, I'm not booking for the month of December because that's when the move is going to be happening. Um, so I will be booking, however, for January. So if you'd like to get on my schedule for January, and we're going to go through all types of things that are most relevant for your journey, all the priorities. If you're a twin flame, we're going to look into all areas of that. We're going to talk about life purpose. If we're going to talk about um, your gifts, any, anything that's going to help you, your healing, anything from the past that's coming up for you to heal. Uh, we get a lot of things covered in these sessions. So if you can book an hour, that I would definitely recommend the hour. 30 minutes is more so if you only have like a a couple of questions and we can get to those main priorities uh, rather quickly uh, but since time really goes so quickly um, I really do recommend if you are able to do the hour that that would be the best way to go uh, you can find me on my website the paranormal priestess.com and a way to inquire or I'll say the way to inquire about a reading is through my service page which will go right to my email and just give me um, some time like I said usually my turnaround time tends to be uh, somewhere between three to five three to six days something to that effect um, but that could be very different now um, so just bear with me like I said as I'm going through uh, this transition if you are new to the channel, I do these channel messages monthly, these particular ones. However, I'm on every week, and I will be putting out more material um, and more variety variety of, of material. It's not only just for Twin Flames. This channel will be for anyone and everyone who's going through a very special awakening process, um, looking to just find their way, step into the best version of themselves. I'm here to also motivate and to inspire, um, along with sharing channeled messages. Um, you know, and I'll share methods and things, and even magic, things that will that will help you to grow and to to manifest change, positive change. Um, but these particular messages are going to be for the month, and they are very much about twin flame so if you are resonating with the twin flame connection the divine feminine the divine masculine a very special connection it's telepathic it's intense it changes you you can't stop thinking about it um it awakens things in you that you have never felt before um then these messages are going to resonate with you if you are new to the twin flame journey i actually want to put this out there i did a very comprehensive video about what the twin flame connection is okay um, so take a look on my channel about that the video is called twin flame recognition uh, it's gotten plenty of views it's helped a lot of people um, I really share the journey in ways that are understandable they're clear because um, sometimes when you're looking for information there's just so much confusion there's so much information out there and you want to try to make heads and tails of things um, I'm very direct with how I share this it meant a lot to make that video so if you are new to the journey or even if you kind of need that refresher of why you're on this journey and um, what it means to be a twin flame if you've lost faith 
or if you're frustrated or falling into fear in any way, you might just want to go back to that video. Again, it's called Twin Flame Recognition. So, okay, let's get into these. Um, I just wanted to add that these particular messages were physically channeled through me. So not only am I a channeler of information, very high consciousness information, um, but I'm also a channel for spirit. And so they, the angels literally spoke through me audibly as I typed these messages, which I always find really surreal. Um, and if there's anything that I can add to this, I, I will add if it's relevant. Um, but we'll just see how this goes. And it, you might want to just hit like or favorite this video. Uh, I usually say this because there might be things that you want to go back to, things that you want to go deeper with. Maybe something didn't really um, process and you want to just go back. I always suggest that if, if you save it and you might want to go into that later. So they start out, the light is penetrating. It is coming into the heart space and is opening the awareness of the beauty and magic that the mother and father source offers. The light, the new beginning, brings in a new sense of self where the inner light becomes the true self within the physical reality. This light is bringing to the surface that in which is dark and hidden. The shadows of self are being illuminated in order to be freed and transformed into divine, powerful service. You are being called by Source to become the greater self and to offer your love and your gifts in ways in which will allow others to awaken from the illusions of the ego. And this is a miracle indeed. There is no need to push or to force this awakening or light, for this process is happening collectively on your planet as we speak. It is in the highest good to allow for these processes to continue. It is not helpful to force your healing or to rush ahead. All is being addressed, the seeds planted, and they will continue to germinate. You are called, beloveds. You are called deeply within to remember your love for your counterpart and the love that you are originating from. The source light, the unity that resides from these connections. These processes are unfolding and are bringing the knowledge and the insightful information that is required to anchor the greater self into a physical reality. You are aware, Divine Masculines, that you are more than you have thought yourself to be. You are more than what the 3D paradigm has made you believe. You are here to participate in a greater planetary ascension that was of your choosing, along with your divine feminine counterpart. It is now time to see all that you have learned within new eyes and to forgive yourself and others who have caused pain and suffering. You need not stay trapped within your memories. They are not the authentic self that you are now becoming. You need not judge or criticize what you did not know of. For all has its place, its meaning, its learning and growth in order to bring you to where you are today. All you have deemed as unworthy has much worth. All that you deemed as foolish or missteps were able to teach. All words and actions of karma have worth and have given you opportunities to grow and accelerate at a soul level. These lessons are now to be completed fully so that you may become what you are meant to become. A vessel, a conduit, a pure light and unconditional love in new human form of fifth dimension. Divine Feminine, you have done well in assisting and teaching your Divine Masculine about love and the support and compassion you bring has instilled much strength and self-awareness for your beloved. You have allowed your counterpart to see that only love is real and all else is of illusion. Now is the time of giving to each other, serving each other 
supporting each other. Near or far in physical distance or time is not applicable. This love and connection is of now. And with this now, you create a harmonious merging that shall be mirrored in the physical reality to serve the planet. Engage in this harmonious connection of support and compassion. Breathe in its love and light right here and now as it is. For as it is in heaven, so shall be on earth, and this is available in the now. Magic is that of manifestation from emotional energy worked with the elements. The magic of this partnership is according to what your emotions and your intentions and beliefs are. Step into this magic. Allow for it to manifest in the ways that are best. The many messages of the higher are being delivered in many different forms. Signs and synchronicities are abound on both ends for the divine feminine and masculine. These signs are bringing much truth of the heart and what the path is showing. The path is being greatly illuminated in the waking world and the dream world. Archangel Michael, General of the Angelic Armies, is greatly speaking to the Divine Masculine Collective and bringing incredible clarity that is allowing for changes to unfold. Do not fear, beloveds. Do not fall into worry. The season of magic and light speaks for itself. The Christ light is at its peak during the December month of the solstice energy. The Christ light shall activate the divine masculine and divine feminine collective very strongly in order to move into the 2020 merge and physical manifestation of your inner commitment. It is the inner commitment that has brought you to this point. It is the inner commitment that shall carry you into the physical reality with the inner marriage you are one with. Fall not into fear, beloveds. Fall not into the separation in which can only exist in the ego's, ego's world. For there is no separation with unconditional love. Stay present in your joy and in your service. Stay present in your excitement of the unknown and allow us to guide you and bring you into the highest awareness. Center and breathe. Just be. Carry on and be your best light. This is the way to all beauty and happiness. It is all coming as you decide to shift into it. Instantly and quite magically, you can change your world with a change of perception. And with this can bring either positive or negative, depending on what that perception is. We say to you, it is better to choose the love and the joy as your perception. Be one with this. Then that oneness can express itself in a physical way. This is magic. The love and the warmth and the giving is now winning and all misunderstandings and confusion are being replaced with such mutual support. This energy is the drawing, the attraction, the healer. You and your beloved are home to each other. Safety, creativity, inspiration, the holy fire. The holy fire is the flame. Blessings to all who have heard these messages. We love you and are here for you. Do not think not to request for our assistance. We are here to assist and to bring you into faith and trust. We are here to bring you into your best and greatest soul. Angels, angels, angels. Quite a powerful message. I'll say messages. So much going on. If you resonate with the Twin Flame journey, uh, there is a lot of changes uh, with connecting. Uh, a lot of them in which I've noticed, of course, personally. And the wonderful thing about the connecting with Twin Flames now is that there is quite a surrender to the processes. And I'm getting this both for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. There is not... Um, so much of this push and pull energy or um, or forcefulness or um, guardedness 
or um, one coming onto the other one in a way which is very um, strong headed, I would say. There is much of a relaxation into this connection now and really mutual, like they had said, mutual compassion. And there's also mutual nurturing that's happening. So the Divine Masculine is also now stepping into this place because they're heart activated into a place of wanting to be that um, compassionate support and that nurturing support for their Divine Feminine. And they really are going into their space of really reviewing their lives um, really trying to understand the connection better, understand themselves better. Of course, there's so much mirroring that goes on with this partnership. And the Divine Masculine is really, um, as I've been talking about, taking a lot of time out for themselves, uh, taking a very honest look at where they are today, um, who may not be in the high school to be in their space any longer, where in their lives are they, be are they being inauthentic, where in their lives are they not feeling fulfilled? Um, where have they been imbalanced? Perhaps where are their uh, distortions, false identities? How can they take off their masks? Trying to decipher how they'll take off their masks because there's just so much that is at stake there. Um, and, you know, there's... A, you know, perhaps a lot of attachment to the old ways of life. Um, but they are now searching their hearts. They're really searching their souls. They're doing the meditating. They're doing the reflecting. They're sitting on things. They are, um, they're experiencing a lot of the, the guilt and the self-judgment and self-criticisms. And they're thinking about maybe where, ha where they've gone wrong in their lives professionally personally, where they have given and have not received in return. They're looking at, well, what what is their ability to give love and receive love? Have they limited that ability? So much, so much that they're going through. And Divine Feminines, you are being very supportive as they're going through their shadow work. Um, you are truthfully their inspiration. They have gained so much from your wisdom. They have gained so much from your love. By you constantly displaying love, expressing love to them. Even in times where they felt they didn't deserve that love from you, Divine Feminine. And that has caused them to turn, uh, pull their energies back, go with another but no matter what, pulling their energies back, choosing another partner, working through, um, working through issues with a karmic partner, whatever the case may be, and whatever's going on at this time in the physical, they are learning, they are becoming, they are softening, they are going up in vibration, they are wanting more for themselves and wanting more in their lives. They're wanting to be of service more. They are, they are wanting to make very immense change. And they might have not taken those physical steps yet to create that physical change. But so much change is going on inwardly. And I love that the angels were talking about the inner commitment. And how important it is to have that inner commitment and to embrace that inner commitment right here and right now and to embrace that love that is beyond all time and all space and to embrace that right here and right now. And because of that commitment, because of that uh, declaring of that love here and now, though that, those things, those are the, that's the way to rise above the fears. The fears that may come up during this holiday season, if they do arise for you, think back to what you know. Feel it most of all. Feel that connection. There's a lot of synchronicities. There's a lot of telepathy that's going on. There's a lot, a lot, a lot that we're feeling from each other, that we're sharing with each other. And a lot of it is also being expressed through the physical body. Know that this is all real and that it's all unfolding 
and the magic is taking place and maybe you don't know how that magic is going to present itself in the physical reality, that's okay, you don't need to. It's your belief, it's your intention, it's your trust, it's you being able to surrender to the greater powers that had you become aware of this connection in the first place. Why would you become aware? Why would you be awakened to this connection in the first place if this had nowhere to go, if it, there was no unfolding, if it had no pathway? You've been shown this connection for very real reasons. So many people around the world all share this journey. So we're all in this together. Um, but now we're just in a really beautiful, harmonious place. And it's really now the main messages um, really come down to really trusting and surrendering to the magical unfolding and to stay very present with just how much you love each other, how much you support each other, how much you inspire each other, just how beautiful each and every connection is. Every time you connect, every time you communicate with your beloved, stay very present with with all of those communications without expecting or attaching to anything more than that. You don't need to. This connection is a 5D connection. It takes place in the now. It doesn't follow any rules of the 3D paradigm relationship. And that's the confusing part about it because when we are learning about this connection and we're going through a lot of the push and pull energy we tend to try to make this 5d connection a 3d relationship and it follows no structure it follows no rules it is it is something completely different divine feminine your divine masculines are completely aware that the connection with you is something totally different they were afraid of that they were intimidated by that they were intimidated by you for a while all the things that you knew about and the strength, the strength that you displayed, the wisdom that you displayed. A lot of those things, the divine masculine just was not in that place. It was overwhelming. But they're finding themselves. And the more you relax divine feminine into this connection, without worry, without trying to force any kind of knowledge onto your masculine without trying to push them or get answers from them. Um, just appreciate them, just love them. Just, just display your nurturing, your support, your compassion for everything that they're learning and going through. That's the way home. So I just wanna end with that. Those are my, those are my personal thoughts and um, what I also gathered from my experiences lately um, that's the way home embrace that home that's the truth I hope this helps I'm wishing you all such a beautiful bright healthy loving and joyful holiday season stay with that love stay with that joy stay with that peace and everything everything we could truly desire that would be considered just magical in all ways, it will be drawn to you in magical ways. You'll see. Thank you for listening. From the heart of the darkness is born the light. Brightest blessings, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.